Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna go over our aquariums that we've got and I'm gonna show you guys what stock we have in each one of these tanks, starting with this 60 gallon right here. So make sure that you hang around with us. This is gonna be a great one and you're not gonna wanna miss out. So this is our 60 gallon aquarium. We've got several large angelfish in this tank, as well as a few glow light tetras, two autosynchless catfish, and a Asian bumblebee catfish. We also have common pocostomus in here as well. I would actually like to take and put this common inside of the pond with our largemouth bass later on down the road and end up eventually putting a bristlenose pleco in this tank. I think that's gonna be a better fit for this aquarium in the long run, but everybody is extremely healthy. We also have a large angelfish in here that we recently rescued and she is doing just fine. We're gonna go ahead and feed these guys as well. And then this is actually one of our 20 gallon tall tanks. This tank I'm actually really growing fond of quite quickly. I had actually picked up a substrate when we went to Aquashella last year to try out and I'm testing it for a little while in this tank and I'll give you guys the name brand so on and so forth later on down the road when I'm finished seeing how it's doing. But so far it's doing quite well with our aquatic plants that we've planted in this aquarium and I'm really enjoying the natural look it gives to this tank. But in here we've got some fancy tail guppies and these guys have actually already been reproducing for us and our neon sword tails now if I can find them amongst this jungle there's also an albino quarry in here not quite sure where he went now right below this tank I've got a 10 gallon with some cichlids we're growing out now if you guys remember from a previous video these cichlids were in a five gallon tank I went ahead and upgraded them to a 10 gallon because they were getting bigger quite quick and we're gonna go ahead and move these guys into the 55 gallon down the road and finish growing up I suppose these guys would want some food too I just love watching these guys eat they just dart around not seen that much you see some of the fry coming out now to eat and if you guys want me to do a video where I go more in depth talking about this tank the type of substrate we're using the plants so on and so forth drop a comment down below and let me know and we'll be sure to try to get that out for y'all we're gonna go ahead and thaw out some shrimp and feed our bass now this tank has actually been aggravating me immensely. I have been battling green water in this for a little while. I actually just took and hooked up this air pump, which is now powering two sponge filters in this tank to try to clear it up. So hopefully this works. I also added some duckweed to help with cut back on some of the light. I actually just recently had this light unhooked for like three days trying to clear it up. And well, we're, we're making some progress. It's, it's looking better than it did when it was initially discovered. And as far as this 20 gallon long goes, we've got this tank stocked with some paradise grommies. If any of you have kept them, leave a comment down below and let me know. They're a beautiful fish. Okay, now this is our Corydora tank. This tank has, I believe, six bronze Corydoras, and I've got two German blue rams in here as well. I'm gonna walk around and show you guys the other tanks. I can get these blue rams to pump back out. They are always hiding. And I will let you guys check these out because they are beautiful. In this tank here, I've got some Bolivian rams. I've been growing out. If you've seen some of David's videos where he's talked about his breeding Bolivian rams, these were actually their fry. I've been growing these up in hopes that I will soon be able to get these guys to spawn. Kind of got things set up for it. They like a somewhat dirty tank or mom covered tank. So that's kind of what I'm working on in here. Hopefully we can achieve that with them or forget. Keep these guys up. Looky there. There's one of our rams. Now, if you guys remember, we actually did a video where I was showing you guys how to quarantine a little bit with these German blue rams. And they're still alive, still very healthy, and living on a good life. And these guys a little. Oh, there we go. It has been found. 
Okay, and then we've got this 20 gallon tall. This has one Columbia Tetra. I believe there's six black skirt Tetras in here, if I'm correct. And this was a breeding project. I would still like to get them to breed, but unfortunately I need to replace the filter cartridges on my RODI system to be able really to get anything to happen with these guys. But it is full of nausea grass, which I really don't mind because the water quality is absolutely fantastic on this tank. Now I know my hang on back filter is disgusting looking. However, I never have ammonia issues in this tank. I am going to take the housing apart and clean it here soon, but for as long as it's been running, I hardly ever have any issues. Okay, now this other 20 gallon tall up here, it's had its ins and outs. I had tiger barbs in here at one point in time. My end game goal is to probably use this as a guppy tank. Um, I have one tiger barb left. He's actually battling uh, internal parasites and he's in quarantine right now so we'll see what comes of that i have one of my surviving angelfish juveniles that i've been growing out his name is lucky and then i've got some i'd say they're like an orange leer tail dalmatian molly cross but i've i've had these guys since the beginning originally i had had one orange leer tail molly in here with probably 20 Dalmatian mollies. A lot of them have been rehomed. And now I'm down to just these guys. Oh, there's a red tail shark in here as well. I've got a bristlenose pleco. Looks like he's hanging out on the back side of that crypt. Now our quarantine tank is just that, it's a quarantine tank. I have learned a valuable lesson with quarantine tanks though. If you're gonna have one, make sure that you have a heater with an adjustable thermostat. That way if you run across a disease that you're chasing to cure, such as ick, something relative to that, you can get the temperature higher than what the presets will allow you to. With battling ick, I like to get my temperature up above 85 degrees while I'm using a product like ick -X or Methylene Blue to treat and rid the fish of ick. And since I'm running the Quarantine Meds Trio in here, I have the Tiger Barb in here that's battling the internal parasites, the Gold Opaline Garami, and we We've also got two new additions down here. We've got a black and orange Oscar and an albino Oscar in here. And hopefully these guys battle their ailments, get out of quarantine, and we get them into their forever home. And who can forget our pond that we built on this channel? Now, I still have the largemouth bass in here and I still have the Placostomus in here. The perch did not make it, unfortunately. That's just how it goes in this hobby sometimes. When you're putting fish together, can't really for sure say what's gonna happen and mistakes do happen. Now we'll go ahead and get this big girl fed for you as well because she is starving always acting like she's starving to death. So I'm gonna flip the camera around for you guys and grab some shrimp and we'll get to feeding this bass. You know what? We have a feed mode on our pond. Shut off our filter for a moment. Bad a girl. Shrimpy number two. And you're gonna grab my finger. How do you do too? Bad a girl. Really? Really? Come on, man. Come on, man. Nope. That will happen. That will definitely happen. You ready to eat? So, yeah, I'm ready to eat. Uh -huh. Ah, you didn't give me that time. You better get it. You want this? Put down, plant stem. All right, guys. Well, that's all the time we have for today's video. Make sure that you go down to the bottom of the screen here and smash that thumbs up button for us. We greatly appreciate it. And don't forget to go check out David's video. He just added his red tail catfish over to his 450 gallon pond and it's a banger. Go check it out. What are you missing? Anyhow, if you haven't done so already, make sure that you go hit that subscribe button. You won't want to miss any of the stuff coming out in the future for you guys. And until we see you next time, peace.